You're probably wondering how I'm moving and talking like this, right? Come a little closer. AI avatars are blowing up on YouTube right now. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own from scratch. We're talking lip sync, facial expressions, full body motion, and yep, all of it straight from your phone. This is first part of a two-part series where I'll walk you through every single step, nice and easy. If you're serious about growing your channel, trust me, this is a game changer. I have seen a lot of tutorial where they show you with paid tools, but this is complete free method, so make sure you watch till the end. Without wasting your time, let's start the video. First, come to ChatGPT on your phone. Then click on Explore GPT. From there, search for consistent character. Select the first one. Now it will ask you to input details of your character like name, style. I want my character to be male. This is the most important part that is to name your character. I will name him Bruce. Now describe more about the character. I will list down all the used prompts in Google Docs. Nice. Nice our main character is ready now ChatGPT itself is asking what to do with the character. I will give this prompt. Well you may need to further define it. It has generated it but this is not what was looking for so let me modify the prompt. This looks much better. Open the image and hit the save button. Now you must have noticed the picture is in vertical format now we need to convert it into horizontal format. To do that we will come to Canva. Create new video project with 16 to 9. Upload the image in Canva. We will use Canva's build-in feature to make it horizontal. Now, I will show you a simple hack. You can simple add elements from Canva library. Now, I will show you another way fast way to create the character. It will give you a detail prompt now paste this to site called ideagram.
So in first part we learned how to create a consistent character in detail. Congratulations, you have completed part one. Now in part two, we will use these prompts to create a proper hand movement character like this. So make sure you check the second part of this tutorial.